My name is Angel Lateral, and when it comes to practicing law, I resonate with the human spirit just as much as the judicial system. This isn't your typical business legal advice show, and I'm not your typical lawyer. As an attorney, I have over 16 years of legal experience in the areas of business law and estate planning. As a project manager, I love building and nurturing systems that work. And as a certified guide in the lineage of King Solomon, transformation consultant and practicing Buddhist, I know this all starts with a healthy mindset. Welcome to the Laws of Abundance podcast. Legal advice from an angel. I'm your host, Angel Lateral. The steps of manifestation. Idea, thought, plan, action. So last time we talked about structure and how this is different than a container. But both are a requirement necessary for creation. You need something to hold the energy and a shape to mold the energy into the thing you want to create. But that isn't truly the whole of it. Creating something on this planet requires that something move through all four worlds. Idea, the spark, the initiating movement, thought, the form, the uncontained into a container, plan, creation of the structure, and then, finally, action. The doing something so the plan actually manifests onto this plane of existence. This concept is called the four worlds, In the study of the Universal Hermetic Ray Kabbalah, Universal Kabbalah, as in the study of it, is not housed within any particular religion or philosophy. In Kabbalah, the idea is that to create something here on Earth, in this place of physical density, it must move from the plane of spirit down through the four worlds to be born or manifested in the physical. And you can conceptualize it here. Think about how an idea is so very ephemeral. It has no form. It's purely mind or energy. Then when you start thinking about it, it starts to grow more clear. It has an outline, a name. It gives it some type of initial container to grow in. Then when you think and make that thought into a plan, a step-by-step, this is how and what I'm going to do to make that idea into reality. Now it has a structure. It has the ability to be made manifest. All it's missing at that point is action the literal act of doing the thing which is planned. It seems in some ways a no-brainer. You might be asking me, why am I bothering wasting my podcast airtime on stating such an obvious point? You can't create without action. Or in the positive, all creation requires action. But I don't think it's a waste of our time together to examine this. As a law of abundance in this universe, on this planet today, let's just look around and ask if there's enough planned action taking place in service to humanity. There are certainly a lot of humans doing a lot of things, but do we have enough intentional action? How many ideas have you had that just stay ideas? Have you even thought about them long enough to give them a container, a place to gestate? Have you made a plan to bring them into fruition? And then have you taken action on that plan? This ultimately is the realm that the entrepreneur must live and breathe, the realm of idea, Thought, plan, action. Idea, thought, plan, action. Idea, thought, plan, action. If we skip one or don't take the action required of our plan, we do not create. And as an entrepreneur, if you're not creating, you may be failing in your business endeavor. Another place where this comes into play is when we reverse this and look at what action we are taking in our lives. As action is the final thing to make ideas and thoughts manifest, what are the fruits of your labors? Are these what you want? If the action you are taking is resulting in those fruits, technically, yes. That is exactly what you're choosing to manifest in your life, business, and family right now. Is there something you're complaining about? Is there something you would like to change? What action are you taking regarding that thing? If the only action is complaint, and action is manifestation, what is the fruit of your complaint labor? What is the result of your venting? Do you have a rose garden or just a compost pile? The point of this is not for us to start beating ourselves up about things we haven't done, but instead just to be honest with ourselves regarding the fruits of our actions. 
so we can be more intentional and actually start intentionally creating what we would like to see in our lives, in our businesses, and in our families in this world. One of the reasons I advise my students of project management and my legal clients and my spiritual training clients alike to start a gratitude journal is because journaling is an action. And you can use this action to start creating positive fruits at the same time as taking stock of the positive things in your life. And finally, the process is a reprogramming mechanism proven to open your brain up to more creativity, clarity, calmness, and enhances the ability to learn and be resilient. It's a huge win-win. It generates energy so you can bring what you want down through idea, thought, plan, and action. So instead of just thinking about calling Angel to set up a life and legacy planning session, or just thinking about trying five minutes of meditation today, you do it. You schedule that session. You download the call map. You make time for some self-care. You start to take stock of what is in your control to take action on with the things you want to change about the world. Do you want more love? Do you say I love you to your friends and family regularly? What's stopping you? It creates more love with the action. Do you want more money? What are you currently doing with yours? Do you have structures that create abundance of money flowing in your life? How is your business set up? What thoughts are you currently telling yourself? If you are daily thinking you don't deserve money, or that you're an imposter at running your business, those thoughts may be creating unconscious plans and actions that undermine you. So take back the reins. You are the playwright of your life and the star actor. Start acting like it. Actions you can take today after listening to this podcast. Journal. What is one idea you have that you would like to implement? Write it out and make a plan. Schedule an action for yourself to take. Start a gratitude journal. Inventory your current creative life. What are you creating? Want help with setting up a plan for your business or family? Want to make sure your loved ones are taken care of after you're not here? Let's talk and get an intake chat on my calendar today. Thank you for allowing me to help you prosper. If you like this podcast, please review and subscribe. You can find out more about me at laterallaw.com forward slash laws of abundance podcast. I'm your host, Angel Lateral, and I can help with that.